Right, here we go. This step is going to be all about moving the camera around in your level. So we're going to look at all the different ways that you can navigate in uh, in the viewport in Unreal. So we'll start with the more basic ones. So make sure you've got your mouse in your, your viewport. And we're going to start with the standard control. So if you hold your left mouse button and drag, that will allow you to go backwards and forwards like so. And it will also allow you to rotate left and right. So that's the first way of moving around. The next control is if you click and hold the middle mouse button and drag, this moves the camera up and down. So there we go, up and down. I feel like we're on a trampoline. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> so good. Okay, you can also do that by pressing and holding the left and right mouse buttons together, and that does the same thing. We can go trampolining that way as well. So there's that one. The final uh, control in the standard scheme is if you click and hold the right mouse button, That'll allow you to just rotate around in all, all directions at once. So you can go up and down, you can go left and right, um, nice and straightforward. So you can quite easily get around your entire scene just using those three mouse buttons. There are other ways to get around your scene though. Uh, the next scheme that we'll look at is the WASD fly controls. Uh, and we do that by hold your right mouse button and then press and hold one of the WASD keys. So if we hold W, that will fly forward. S will bring us backwards, like that, and it will go in whichever direction your mouse is pointing. So if I want to fly into the floor, I point at the floor, go back out of the floor. So you can go up and down like that, so you really are flying around. And you can use A and D, and that will kind of just strafe, strafe your control side to side, like so. So that's your W, A, S, no hang on, let's do this properly. That's your W, S, A and D. So that's that control. Uh, and the final one we're going to look at, um, Unreal call the Orbit, Dolly and Track control. Uh, and this is one that suits me because I've come from Maya into Unreal and it behaves very similar to that. So if we just get a point of interest first of all, which is going to show you something else. I'm just going to zoom away a little bit. I'm using my, my scroll wheel as well you can use to zoom out. Um, so I'm just going to click on the floor, press F on the keyboard. And just like in Maya, if you use that, that will frame your selection and make that um, kind of full screen. When you've done that, this is now your point of interest. So this is like um, what your camera's going to rotate around. So if you hold Alt on your keyboard and left click, that will orbit or dolly around that thing that you have selected. You can also hold Alt and your middle mouse button. And this will move your camera side to side and up and down like that. And the final control that you've got here is hold Alt on your keyboard again and the right mouse button and that will zoom in and out. Move the camera in and out like that. Okay, my advice to you now is spend some time getting used to these controls. Make sure you can navigate around, move around your scene uh, quite comfortably. You might find it useful to go back into the example level that came with this blueprint. So the first person template just so you can kind of get a little bit precise with what you're doing. Uh, the final thing that I will tell you though before you spend some time doing that is in the top corner of your viewport you've got this little icon here and this represents camera speed. You can see it's like a, a cam with speed blurry lines on it because it's going so fast. So what we're going to do is click here and you've got a slider for camera speed. So 4 by default is okay but when we start building this level out later it's going to get quite big and you'll probably need to move that up a little bit. So if I just, I'll move it down first of all to 1. If I do the fly controls so I'm now moving in really slow, which is kind of painful. But if I was working um, on something really intricate, I might need that. If I turn that all the way up to eight and press um, to fly backwards, I'm like, whoa, too fast. Like that. So other than being fun, um, it can, can be really useful to get you around your level. So I'm going to stick to four for now. Okay, so I do want you to spend some time playing with those controls before you move on to the next step, which is where we're going to start getting ready to create some terrain. We're going to use the landscape tools to create uh, the kind of the floor, the ground of our level. But just to get ready for that before we move on, this step doesn't really fit in with any other video, but we need to do it. We're going to just delete this bit of floor that we don't need. Um, so I'm just going to press F while I've got it selected to, to frame it up. So it's, a, it's nice that they provided with a piece of floor. And I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I just don't want it. So I'm just going to hit my delete key. Poof, it's gone. So we now have a sky. So if we just rotate up, we can, hang on, wrong button chain. 
if we just rotate up, we can see that we've got a sky that's been kindly provided by Epic. Thank you, Epic. I like your sky. Uh, and then in the next step, we can start actually getting some terrain in there. So get comfortable with the navigation controls and I'll see you in the next step. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.